What's up, YouTube family? Hefe coming to you, Captain Awesome's Fish Room. Moment of truth. We're gonna see if we can get this bad boy working, as y'all see. Still haven't tested it yet. Uh, I was letting it dry, um, and in my opinion, it's dry enough to test out. Uh, so, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show y'all uh, me priming it, and uh, hopefully it'll work. Um, and then I'll go into a little bit more detail of uh, some things that you want to watch out for and stuff like that. So here we go. Um, sorry if it gets kind of shaky, guys. It's going to be kind of hard to, you know, prime this and, you know, basically do it with one hand. So I'm going to move all these plants out of the way here. Oh, as y'all can see, that uh, plastic matting, um, it was only six bucks for that big old roll, and it's about to come in real handy. So here we go shit alright so here we go we're gonna dunk it in get it all primed it might take a minute to prime oh no it didn't I just saw water shoot through there oh, I hope I got that on camera but uh I think it's primed so I'm gonna lift it out set it on the edge here Whoop. and huh Looks like it's working. I don't know if y'all can see that water coming in there. Uh, but here, you know, it kind of looks like it's not because there's a bubble in there. But if you come over here, you can see the water coming out. Here, let me show you. See? Whoa, there it goes. It's really pumping now. So, man, that was easy, guys. Y'all saw I just dipped it in there and it just shot through. Uh, takes a minute to get started, but it looks like it's working good. Um, now, y'all notice that I drilled uh, the holes right there. Um, let me try to get it to focus. Sorry, guys, it's lights out for most of my fish right now. But um, as you can see, uh, I'm going to let it run until it turns off. Um, and uh, we'll actually do a in we'll actually do a test tomorrow as to putting water back in it. Uh, to make sure it'll keep that siphon. Now, some of the the deals with this siphon, uh, as y'all can see on Forest or Cichlid Man on Nine's channel, sometimes a bubble gets up in here, um, and you got to kind of tilt it forward a little bit to you know make the water rush through to um, you know get rid of that siphon, or I'm sorry, get rid of that bubble. But uh, looks like it's working very well, still flowing, and. Um, Another thing that you have to worry about with these is it getting clogged up. Uh, uh, my buddy Greg Jones, uh, y'all check out his channel, real good DIY guy. Um, he uh, he brought up uh, you know it getting clogged, and the best thing to do is drill your tanks. Of course, that is the best thing to do, guys. Drilling your tanks uh, makes everything so much easier and simpler. Uh, you know, it's just not something I'm prepared to do right now. Um, Y'all know I'm about to move fish rooms. Uh, I'm going to be moving to a bigger room down the hall to finally talk the wifey into it. Um, and that's probably when, uh, you know, I'll go to the tank drilling method. Um, but uh, this is what I got to do now. So um, as far as it getting clogged up, the things you got to look out for, uh, you know, just pay t special attention to the flow that you get now. Like... Okay, I guess it, oh yeah, it reached, it reached the top, so um, it stopped flowing, but whenever you first get them flowing, um, pay attention to how fast it's flowing, uh, you know, once you get your drip system set up, watch how, uh, how much water comes out, and you know, kind of note that as like a mental note, or write it down as kind of an estimation of how many, you know, gallons per hour you're getting, uh, you can get real technical with it, and uh, do it that way, but, um, and when it starts flowing slower, what you're going to want to do is shut down the line to that tank, uh, take your overflow out, and, uh, you know, clean it out a little bit. And something that I'm going to do on the rest of my overflows, which I didn't think about, is I'm going to leave the cap that stays inside the tank, um, I'm going to leave that un or uh, uncemented uh, so that I can take it off and actually clean in there. Um, that's just one thing I didn't I didn't think about when I was uh, building this one. I'm still going to use it. What I might actually do is uh, cut that off, get another cap, and just do it that way. It'll make it a little bit shorter, and I think it'll still work. So 
If y'all know, uh, let me know. If y'all think that'll work, or if you think it won't work, let me know. Um, but, yeah, so it's working, uh, looking good, uh, and... Um, I'm actually going to show y'all how I built it. Um, I'm going to do a step-by-step -step just like I did with the tees here so y'all can get an idea of how to build it. And, um, you know, we'll go from there. Um, a video coming either later tonight or tomorrow is going to be uh, in my laundry room. Uh, that's going to be the source of the fresh water. Um, I'm going to show y'all the problem I'm having with it and, uh, you know, what I'm going to do to combat it. So stay tuned for that. Uh, I want to do a shout out to all my buddies out there, um, all my subscribers, y'all are awesome, getting me up over 200, um, it's just phenomenal, I never expected it to, you know, to be that big, um, you know, I'm really humbled, the fact that, you know, a bunch of people are liking the videos I'm putting out, look at my man Big Rig there, looking awesome. But, uh, yeah, guys, this is what I'm doing. This is what I've done. I uh, hope this was helpful. Um, and as always, rate, comment, subscribe. I look forward to seeing y'all's comments. If y'all if y'all see a way I could do that overflow better, uh, let me know. Um, I love learning new things. And, uh, you know, uh, doing overflows, there's a hundred ways to do, to do it. So definitely let me know if you have a better way that, you know, isn't as easy to clog up and stuff like that. Um, and we'll see y'all later. Have a good night. Peace. Sorry, one more thing, guys. Look at that guy's color right there. It's looking awesome. Oh, and, uh, there gonna, there's going to be some more videos, uh, of my fish. I finally found my camcorder that's HD, so, um, y'all definitely stay tuned for that. Y'all are going to be able to see some really, really good color. Um, and I'll even do a review on the camera because there are some things I don't like about it. So, going on seven minutes, guys. Y'all have an awesome evening and stay tuned. Peace.